Hey, good morning. So uh, out for the walk, uh, as always, with the dog. And I thought I would take this morning uh, to talk about something that I sort of sense going on out there. And, and that is just a general feeling that, um, you know, today's a, t- today or this environment is very scary to be an investor. Uh, you know, do me a favor and, and leave some comments below. Let me know what you're thinking about investing. You know, whether now is a good time, bad time, you know, anything of that nature. And, and uh, I'd love to hear what's going on out there. But from where I sit, uh, you know, my opinion is, is even if you do nothing, you're, you're investing, right? So, you know, let's, let's talk about that and, and talk about, you know, the other areas you can invest in. So first and foremost, choosing to have cash or savings or, you know, whatever you want to call it, money markets, that is absolutely a form of investing, right? You may tell yourself you're saving, but in, in reality, you're choosing to invest in cash is the thing that you're holding. Now, unfortunately for you, um, you know, I don't know how else to say it, but that's a guaranteed losing strategy, right? So let me tell you what I mean by that. So, you know, depend, you can argue all you want about the inflation numbers. All I know is inflation is higher than the rate of interest you're earning in the bank. I would argue it's two, three, maybe four times higher. Uh, but even if it's just two times higher, right? If, if interest is one and inflation is two, for simple math, you're losing every day, every week, every month, every year, right? Because your cash is, is frankly less valuable, right? It buys less stuff. And that's what we all want cash for. So, you know, the takeaway from that is um, if you think you're doing the wise thing just by stacking cash week in, month in, year in, over and over and over, and you're going to be better in retirement. I don't know how else to break it to you, but you know that strategy may work in a short term when market volatility, all of that, but it's a guaranteed losing strategy, and I just don't know how else to say it. So, okay, if we get off the cash bucket, because you know how I feel about that, then you can, you know, you can sort of watch yesterday's video on the stock market to really th- think what I, uh, f- you know, what I feel about the stock market. In short, it's the it's the largest casino on the planet. It is uh, not meant for most of us. We just don't have the time uh, to commit to it. Uh, you have market risk, you have sector risk, you have stock risk. There's just too many things outside your control um, for it to be a repeatable long-term success. Everybody gets lucky. Everybody can hit that one home run. Uh, it's not repeatable, trust me. Um, you know, again, for most of us, if, if you can spend 12 hours a day and read 100 books a week or whatever it is that Warren Buffett does, you know, maybe you've got a fighting chance, but that's just not most of us. So I'm not a huge believer in the stock market. Um, it's just uh, it's just not meant for most of us. And, and frankly, uh, there's a lot of people trying to tell us to put money there so that they can, you know, have their jobs and, and all of that. So it's, it's pretty sad in my opinion. Then we can go to all these alternative f- forms, you know, Uh, gold and silver, you know, crypto, um, you know, all of these other things. And while they go up and down uh, because they are, um, you know, they're not cash, right? They have their own kind of, you know, bid ask spread and and all of these things. The reality is none of them produce cash flow. None of them have tax advantages. None of them have, you know, conservative financing, you know, none of those things. So, um, Yes, they are alternative forms of investing. Yes, they can have bubbles just like anything else, right? There was the whole tulip mania thousands of years ago. You know, there was crypto over 20,000 now. I don't know. I think last I checked under six, maybe even under five now, right? All these things, you know, bubbles go up, bubbles pop, right? So um, I'm not here to judge crypto or gold, silver, any of that stuff. Just realize it is another form of investing. Um, but these things don't produce cash flow. They're not tax advantaged. They're not financeable with 30-year money. There's just, there's just nothing out there. So in the end, you know, that only leaves real estate investing. And even inside real estate investing, there's sort of the do's and don'ts, if you will. Um, I'm not a big believer in flipping above the median. I'm not a big believer in buying Park Place and Boardwalk, to, to use the monopoly analogy. Right? I want to buy you know, maybe the light blue stuff, right? Um, maybe even sometimes the purple stuff, depending on where it is and if I feel safe and all of those things. 
but you know they're not making any more affordable housing it's it's just so painfully obvious i'm not sure i'm not sure what we're missing so i think we should i think we you know should invest in affordable housing um, it's okay to be a landlord um, you know you get 30 year money you know please conservatively finance it don't be ultra aggressive with leverage make it so you can hold the property for forever and i think you're going to be in a much better state so in the end yes investing can be scary uh, there's a lot going on in the market now. Um, a lot of people I hear are, are just sort of sitting on their hands. And, you know, it, it's it's these chances where market is volatile, where you can create some pretty tremendous opportunities if you pay attention. It is where you can sort of set up, you know, life-changing, um, you know, investments. So, you know, I would, I would challenge you to, again, focus on what makes sense, uh, focus on the surest of things, which is affordable housing because they're not making any more of it. And, you know, then conservatively finance, hold for long term, and I promise you're going to be in a good shape. So in the end, that's what I wanted to talk about today, uh, sort of the various forms of, real, of investing in general and, and what I sort of think about them. All right, take care. Bye.